The American League Central takes on the West. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Oakland Athletics. 2K Sports presents MLB 2K10. They think they have a strong home field advantage. Final score will determine that. We'll see if the A's get it right. A chance to look at one of the dominating starters in baseball as Ben Sheets will go to the hill today. 2K Sports proudly presents Major League Baseball. It's Wednesday night. Happy to have you with us. And uh, as he looks at this White Sox lineup, what are they going to see from him today? As a hitter, when you face a guy like Ben Sheets, you want to try to get him early in the game before he sets into his rhythm. You also want to get him early in the count. Jump on that fastball because if you fall behind, you know the quality curveball and changeup can put you away. Lineup for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. And so Johnny Damon leads it off. The White Sox won last night. When these guys are playing right now, you know, you got to wonder how far can this go. The streak is up to 11, and they've been dominating. Gary, these guys are blistering hot right now. 11 straight wins, but it's almost in a catch-22 position. Hit hard to second. And Ellis picks it up. And so Damon retired. Now we'll take a quick look at the A's, how they're taking the field defensively. Well, Steve, the thoughts on a fielder here. Now Ryan Sweeney's a guy that shows real leadership in the outfield. He can run balls down on the gap. He's just consistent, always getting a good read and making the routine play. And it's Alexei Ramirez now, one away. Well, he had a contribution last night offensively as he drove in a couple of runs. That swung on and a liner here. Ellis able to pull that one in. This ball scorched right at the second base move, but he showed quick reflexes to be able to make the play. Two outs, bases empty. Swinging and a miss, and he falls behind on the count 0-1. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. Tell it goodbye. And the first run of the ball game. Wow, it comes with a solo home run and a 1-0 lead. A oh, great now piece of hitting right well, there. He turns on that one, rotates right the hips, and drives the ball. 20. And that's going to give them the lead here and an early lead. I'm going to see if they can tack on a few more here in the first and put the pressure on. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. Now breaking down Carlos Quinton's season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average. First in hits, and he's also leading the league in home runs. That power bat, that ability to hit it out of the ballpark, a major power threat every time he comes to the plate. Now with two down, they've got a man on board. And Beckham's in the box. Well, if you tuned in last night, you had a chance to see him drive in three runs for his club. Now swinging a shot toward second. Throws to first in time, that's three down. Early pressure being put on, a run over in the first. The White Sox lead. One to nothing. And doing the pitching, it'll be John Danks. He's going to start for Chicago. Steve, what's he got in his mind now as he takes a look at Oakland today? With John Danks on the mound, you get to watch a young guy who's crafty, not overpowering. He has good stuff, but it's not the kind of stuff that'll blow you away. He's a pitcher. He works the corners and tries to expand the zone. But there are times where he becomes too defensive and he nibbles. He has to work ahead in the count and get strike one. Just a little too much on the swing. The strike is called. No balls, one strike. Here's Danks. Creedy. And that sets down Davis. Courtesy of Pepsi. We'll see how Bob Guerin's lineup looks. Any of these bats stand out, John? Well, Mark Ellis is a guy that this team is going to be looking for some production today. He's been inconsistent throughout his career. Let's see if he can put something together and help his team get a win in this one. And Coco Crisp to bat. Lifetime three hits, nine at bats off John Danks. First pitch, fastball, on one. And he leaves that one alone. Coco Chris, patience, evens account. I saw the ball well last night, picking up two base hits in that game. That one is hit well. Quentin's there. 
And there it is. That's their first hit of the ball game. A quick look for this game at the White Sox and how they are positioned in the field. Any scouting pick, Steve? Joe Freedy has great reactions in the hot corner here. He gets great instincts to be able to move. Oh, and there goes Chris. Great block. He is safe at second base. Danks gets set and delivers. Ground ball headed for the middle. And that sets down Suzuki. Boy, he made that throw a split second before he lost control of the body. Now the key was he kept his eye on the target the entire time. Big smile, he got that one done. And Eric Chavez to bat. Ball. Better just missing. One and all. I gotta be feeling good today. Picked up a couple hits in the game last night. Ready with a 1-0. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. Throws the first side is retired. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. The White side. Oakland Coliseum, beautiful Chicago evening. A little bit of a breeze, Center not too fielding, cool, though. Number 51. And Alex Rios to lead off. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the lead. Line towards second. Ellis able to pull that one in. And a quick look now at the league's batting leaders brought to you by State Farm. Now we see some tremendous hitters on this list. Guys who understand how to make good contact at the plate and get the good part of the bat on the ball on a consistent basis. It's going to be Przinski, one of the best batting averages in the league. Swings on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0-1. Well, he's having some kind of offensive season, Gary, really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. Dirt pitch swung on and missed. Not feeling real good about that one. Swing and lined up the middle. And that'll put Pruszynski on first. Well, that's going to bring Joe Creedy up. I'll take a chance here right now to see where the athletics sit in the American League. Fifth in stolen bases. Seventh in on base percentage. And they're in the top ten of team batting average. That depth and length of the lineup paying big dividends for this team as they seem to find ways to get base hits. One down, runner at first. Right. Sheets pitch, swung on and missed. 0 1. You know, I'd actually sit on this guy's curveball. It's an exceptional pitch, but it's his go to pitch. You can predict when he's going to throw it, and maybe you're going to have a shot. And two, another oh, yeah. blow. Seven pitches and it's done. That's how you save your arm and go deep into a game. And the athletics coming up next. And it's Mark Ellis at the plate. Second baseman. Number 14, Mark Ellis. Lined right at the second baseman. Back I'm able to pull that one in. Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in batting average, first in batting average of runners in scoring position, and they're also number one in hits, a lineup that puts the ball in play, finds holes, and gets themselves on base, a real bonus to scoring runs. On the ground to first, and that'll put Kennedy on at first. He's trying for second. And he'll stop at second base, and it will be a double. Well, he finds a pitch he can drive, and his hands just fly through the strike zone. Perfect execution at the plate. He's in scoring position with just one out. Pennington's in the batter's box. In time for the out. He might have had a shot of getting the runner at third base, but much safer. Make the second out of the inning, get the out at first, and try to retire the next guy. So Derek Barton, RBI chance. And in this matchup, lifetime 375 off John Danks. Danks gets set and delivers. Swings and misses the slider, 0 and 1. Here's the pitch. Swung on and a grounder to first. And he'll step on first to retire the side. We we'll see another good John Danks performance in that. Taking account of the ball game, there's Isaac Ian. 
Well, he has to be happy with the work on the mound, especially that last inning. Insurance run so important. Swung on and ripped towards second. And retiring Tony. Courtesy of State Farm. Here's a look at the American League wild card race. Getting close to the wire now. Mariners in first place. In second place, the Yankees. Orioles third place. Fourth place, the Royals. Fifth place, the Rays. And it's the Blue Jays last. What a great race we have in the American League wild card right now. And you know it's been interesting, but wild card teams have had great success in the postseason in the past. So one of these teams has a chance to really make a run to the World Series. Oh, won the count right now after he fouled off that first one. This one's grounded hard up the middle. And he continues that streak as that one goes through. So that brings Alexei Ramirez up. A good piece of hitting right there with one out. Now let's see what they can do with him now that they've got a man on first. And Ramirez settles in first pitch. Swings at that fastball and misses 0 and 1. Career numbers a 317 average off the A's. There's a swing and a liner towards the gap in left field. It's up against the wall and a bounce. And here's Damon going to try to score. Good offensive chance here. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. And the first pitch. That's it foul by Canerco. shot towards the hole out at the plate now over to first and safe at first plus play not quite enough time to get him he's got a shot to get out of this now big time out now he's got two down he's only one out away from working out of this jam here's Carlos Quentin with two outs and two on hitting such a mental part of the game and coming off last here's a ball hit soaring into deep center field that ball is still going home run a three run shot now they lead by four, a three-run homer. At the White Sox lead expanded here. Gary, they just keep getting big hits. Number 15, Gordon Beckham. At the belt, Sheets kicks, throws. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Now we talk about a game of production, Steve. Swing and a shot to third. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. Ben Sheets. We'll see if he can find a way to get quicker out. Well, he's been hit out of the yard twice today. And the Athletics coming up next. And if you just joined us, our broadcast of Major League Baseball on 2K Sports with John Cruck and Steve Phillips. I'm Gary Cole. And here's Ryan Sweeney leading it off. Over his career, a solid 385 off the White Sox. No balls, one strike. Here's Danks, Creedy, and Sweeney is retired. Davis into the batter's box. 0 for 1 thus far. One out, nobody on. And here's the first one. He swings and nails a liner. Two away. And it's Coco Crisp at the plate. He singled in his last at bat. Base is empty with two out. There's a strike from Danks, now 0-1. Well, if he could throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. And he leaves that one alone. Coco Chris, patience, evens account. Hitting 311, lifetime off the White Sox. Good pitch on the outside corner, one and two. The one two on its way. Hit on the ground, up the middle. Throws on to first side, is retired. 
And nothing across here in this half of the inning. The Athletics can't get the offense going. And Alex Surrios to lead off. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and runs scored, top five. And he starts Rios out. He makes contact, line drive. Ellis able to pull that one in. Now the State Farm leaderboard, the batters stacking up with hits this month. It's going to be Przinski. And for RBIs, he's one of the best in the league. Base is empty, one out. At the belt, cheats, kicks, throws. Picked up by Ellis. And so Pierzynski retired. Here's how the Central Division is shaping up late going. It's brought to you by State Farm. First place, the White Sox. Second place, the Royals. In third, the Indians. In the fourth spot, it's the Twins. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. Hit sharply towards the hole. And Creedy's got himself a single. Now so Jim tell me coming up Chicago well, I love being able to get hit for two outs even if there's no one on base you don't drive in any runs what it does is though it prolongs the inning and it makes the opposing pitcher work harder and can possibly get him out of the game earlier right there in the top five and home runs sheets pitch swung on and missed oh one well, one of the offensive leaders in the game this year and obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense is somebody they've really come to rely upon. Here's the pitch. Swing and a liner to left. And that ends the half inning as Davis makes the play. And heading back, Ben Sheets. We'll go now to the bottom of the fourth. Things will start getting a little more difficult. Third man in the lineup coming up. Dugout shot there, Bob Guerin. His club did not get out to the start they had hoped for. A long ways to go to get back. Here's the first pitch. There's a strike from Danks, now 0-1. Okay, we're into the fourth inning right now, and as you start to flip the lineup over again, well, they've only gotten two hits, so they're going to have to really evaluate what they should be looking for at the plate, and maybe they need to be a little bit more patient and make them work. There's a swing, line drive, center field, and that'll put Suzuki on first. That will bring up Eric Chavez. Closing in on the end of the season, let's take a look at the race in the Western Division. Brought to you by State Farm. First place, the Angels. The Mariners, second place. Rangers in the third spot. And in the fourth spot, the A's. Now Chavez gets set. A smash to first. And he'll step on first for out number one. For the Oakland Athletics. Almost fell over Second when he got to that one. Boy, Number there's some 14. upper body strength on that. Throw. You have to have great body control to play this game, and he certainly sewed it there. And he got him. Runners on at second base as Mark Ellis brings the lumber. He has averaged 204 against the White Sox. That one misses. It gets away from the catcher. So they can't make the play. If there is to make the error right there, you just don't want to do that. It's just not good baseball. That one's drilled to short, fielded by Ramirez. Oh, and he is safe. He just barely makes it home. Openings for this lineup offensively. Don't give it to him now because they are hot. Well, the pitcher makes a great pitch right here. Had him way out in front of this ball, but he gets just enough a piece of it to put it in play. And with that speed, he just beats it out. Thanks, gets set and delivers. Oh. This one's grounded near third. Foul. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. And that hit will bring the tying run to the plate. He is safe at third base ahead of that play. Oakland in a nice position here to capitalize. Well, even though he had two hits in the last game, his team lost, but he keeps swinging a bat like this, good things are going to happen. Here's the first pitch. There's a swing and a liner towards first. And Conerco makes the catch. And that'll hold the runners at the corner. They pick up one on three hits, strand a man. The A's showing some fight. They're gaining ground here. 
And so Johnny Damon leads it off. One for two in the ballgame. Number 18, Johnny Damon. At the belt, cheats, kicks, throws. Ellis able to pull that one in. Now we take a moment to look at the pitching staffs, allowing the fewest free passes this month. Brought to you by State Farm. The White Sox, number one. The Royals, second. In third, the A's. Tigers, fourth. And the Mariners, fifth. You want to make the other team beat you. You don't want to beat yourself. And to do that, you have to throw strikes and limit the walks. And over the last month of the season, these two teams have been doing exactly that. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. Here's a swing and a broken bat ground ball. And they get him at first base. Good hustle by the pitcher to get over there. Now, great work by the pitcher there. He normally not called about to play first base. He does a nice job completing the task and getting the out. And it's Paul Canerco now. What a year for him. Top five at home. Not in front on that one. Strike one. Such a consistent, productive, professional hitter. You know, one of their best bats in the lineup, Gary. Line drive. That's going to bring Carlos Quinton up. Now the hottest table setters. State Farm, our leaderboard on base percentage over the last 10 games. Getting on base is a philosophy. It's a mental state. It's a really an approach, and these guys understand that. They understand they have to do whatever they can to get on. They have the toughest at bats of any hitters in the major leagues. First pitch to Quinton. Lined right at the second baseman. And the sides retired. Ellis catches and he heads in. Here's a look at Ozzy. Ozzy Gian. He's watched his club stake out a nice advantage. Probably thinking about making sure his pitching plans keep up with the runs. It's going to be Barton. Lifetime numbers 219 off the White Sox. Now Przinsky positions himself. Swing, hot shot. Oh, that'll move you on the mound. He just barely got out of the way. That'll bring Ryan Sweeney up. And be sure to tune in next Sunday. It'll be Alex Rodriguez. And the New York Yankees will be hosting the Boston Red Sox. Game time is 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 Pacific. He bounced out his last time. Runner on first base, nobody out. Banks gets set and delivers. There's a strike at the knees, 0 and 1. And you can throw the ball down in the zone with that kind of movement. It can be very effective. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Ryan Sweeney now, time to cut that swing back. That one fouled off by Sweeney. And it holds at 0-2. Well, with the way we keep track of pitch counts right now, you know 0-2, the pitcher wants to put him away. The fact that he has to throw another pitch just tells you how defensive a swing the hitter had to keep it going. Sweeney again fouling that one off. Cutter thought he had him, but it's 1-2. and two. This cut fastball is a very effective pitch for this guy because it allows him to set up all of his other pitches. He grabs it. One away. That one looked like he nearly keeled over trying to make that throw. Well, any throw, the key part of it is footwork. He had good footwork right there. That's a major league play right there. First pitch on the way. Swinging the ball. Hit softly towards the hole. And it is in there. That's going to bring the tying run to the plate. That's a great situation for some offense. Number three. Well, this guy's always a threat to go. He steals a lot of bases, so they're going to have to keep a close eye on him, and maybe they'll make a mistake to the hitter paying attention to the runner. And Barton crosses the plate. Production opportunities. Oakland's opening that door wider. Sometimes you just have to force the defense to make the play. You get the bunt down and see what happens. In this situation, worked out for the best. And Suzuki's in the box. Right now, looking better for this ball club. This is what they needed. Just chip away here and get back into this thing. Now, uh, Gary, you look at pieces of clutch hitting. Well, that's what we just saw right there. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. And another one. It's contagious. Davis around third, headed for the plate. That'll bring up Eric Chavez. 
Now you see the pitch coming to the Number inside four. part of the plate, but the hitter a great inside-out approach, driving the ball to the opposite field. And with that kind of a cut, it may be impossible to get inside on that righty. A lucky or good, either way, it's a great approach at the plate. And now time is called, and they're coming out of the dugout and heading to the mound. Now you don't know how long he's going to stay with this pitcher. You're going to have to wait and see what they decide. He may be done. Now Chavez gets set. Right. Danks gets him to swing and miss for a strike. Here's the pitch. Strike and that's a strike. Chavez is going to have to be very protective here. The hitter needs a two strike approach. Shorten up the swing. Think about going the other way. There's the RBI. Chavez with a hit. Boy, this lineup, they are hot right now. The chances, they are productive. So now the Pepsi WPA graph will show us the difference that run batted in made. Danks gets set and delivers. Swung on and a miss. Strike one, Ellis. Well, each inning taking advantage of the opportunities before them, and you have to really credit this offense. This is when you have a deep lineup on multiple innings. You can find a way to score runs. Now they just went away. He watches the fastball go by. Now it's two and two. Well, they gave up runs, but you have to credit the way they're coming back, and this one's just one run away right now. Swing and a soft liner to the right. That base hit could tie this game up. And he scores. That is the tying run. And he scores, and they take the lead. Hitting? Well, they say it's contagious. It is contagious here in this ball game because they can't be stopped. Kennedy at the plate. Offensive production. Boy, does that look good as you swing liner back up the middle. And that'll put him on another hit. Chavez around third, headed for the plate. And they tag him close at home. He wanted that run. He didn't get it. Pennington's in the batter's box. I see the show a little more discipline at the plate tonight. Struck out twice in that game yesterday. Just expanded the strike zone. He's got to get more focus. Now the first pitch. Swings and grounds this one to the right side. Foul. No balls. One strike. Here's Dank. And he fouls off another one. Just to get him to golf at that one, but he lays off and uh, one, two count. Now if you're going to miss, this is where you want to miss. Throw that breaking ball at the bottom of the strike zone. If the hitter swings and puts it in play, it's a ground ball out. Here's the pitch. This one's grounded to second. And the tag is applied. Side retires. John Danks laboring for this one. He's pitched well enough to get through five. And finds himself on the losing end so far, allowing four runs. And it'll be the white side. And Beckham's in the box. Second number 15. Beckham. First pitch on the way. Swing and a line to left. And that is in there. The tying run is on base. Now batting. Well, anytime you can get on base with no outs to start an inning, you know that an extra base hit will probably score you. But even if the batter behind you can figure out a way to get on base, now you have the potential for a huge inning. Here's a runner on for Alex Rios. And one of the top ten averages right now. And he starts Rios out. Line shot into center field. One away. We get a break in the action. Here's a moment to check out the State Farm League leaders in slugging. Well, it's such an asset to an offense when you hit the ball out of the ballpark, and these guys are clearly so important to their team. That ability to drive in a run from first base or to drive yourself in from the plate. It's going to be Przinski. He's got one of the best averages in the American League. Well hit towards the middle. The second for one. Over to first. He is safe. Almost a double play. Not quite enough time. Well, they get the lead runner at second, but they just couldn't turn two. No, they wanted to. Two outs and a man on first. At the belt. Sheets, kicks, throws. Swing and a miss on that curveball. It's 0-1. The pitch. Swung on line to right center field. This one into the gap, rolling towards the wall.
Now, Tremendous situation now for the White Sox. Uh, 0 1 mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate and he pays for it. And doing the pitching, it'll be Craig Breslow. He's been brought in to take over for the Athletics. Well, they had to go to the bullpen much earlier than they anticipated, but the starter wasn't getting it done, and you can't let this game get away from him. That gets through. The runner's going to come in to score. And Creedy follows him home. Now, Boy, the continuation here of this offense is called big time momentum. Pepsi brings us a look at the win expectation change with those two RBIs. Steve looked like he had to go down to get that one. That's a, that's a big tough hit. Well, I tell you, he's battling at the plate. That's an outstanding at bat the way he goes down on that ball, picking up two big runs here. First pitch on the way to Damon. Swing and a hot shot. And another hit. They're really gunning right now. That will bring up the big bat in a big moment. Alexei Ramirez. He goes right with the pitch and slaps the ball in the left field. And if you try and pull that pitch, you're probably not even going to get the bat on it. That's a ground ball to second base if he pulls that one. Lined hard deep down the right field side. Off the wall and a hop. Tome is going to try to score. And he will score from second base. Now batting. Uh, now he's surrendered three straight hits. He's got to bounce back and get this guy. He needs an out. Runners at second and third with two out. He delivers. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. And the sides retired. Ellis catches and he heads in. A strike for five base hits in this inning and three runs up. The White Sox leading now. They've got the momentum. And if you just joined our broadcast, great to have you on board. 2K Sports Major League Baseball. I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crutch. Leading off, Derek Barton. Now Przinski sets up. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. That gets down. That'll put him on the tying run up. That'll bring Ryan Sweeney up. What a great job right there by the first hitter in this inning to get on base. And you know, a lot of big innings are started with that first guy getting on. You have one or two big innings in a game, and that can be the difference in the outcome. No one out and a runner on first. The first pitch. That's him out with a cut fastball for a strike. And you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter. You're way ahead of the game. Now 0 and 2. Danks with some pitches to play with. And Sweeney will take that low. So if you're going to miss, this is where you want to miss. Throw that breaking ball at the bottom of the strike zone. If the hitter swings and puts it in play, it's a ground ball out. And the one-two pitch from Danks. And Conurco makes the catch. And the double play, they got a ball. Davis into the batter's box. Davis. Danks gets set and delivers. Beckham. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. Well, that was a quick inning right there. Seven pitches. White Sox seven. Athletics five. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. Two for three thus far. Well, Gary, the team's ahead right now, and obviously his offensive production has been a major contribution here. Driving in runs with those at-bats, and obviously the big home runs. So the power stroke coming along as well. First pitch to Quinton. Swing and lined up the middle. And it gets down a three-for-four game. Good hitting job. Now breaking down Carlos Quentin's season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average. First in batting average with runners in scoring position. He's also a hit machine leading the league in hits right now. Swinging the bat well. Every time he puts it in play, he seems to find a hole. Deep down the line and right. Bounces up against the wall.
Well, now, that's hit number 15 in them for that one. And boy, you get 15 hits in a game. The manager can just sit back and relax and watch his team work. It's Alex Rios. A great opportunity for him and the Sox. That's in there. Should score the runner. Now up to the plate. With one run already across the board and nobody out. This has the potential of being a really big inning. Let's see if they can string some hits together. He's been brought in to take over for the Athletics. Cast a drive and a run, A.J. Pierzynski. It's one player picking up after another, Steve. This is, this is a good offensive show going on, and they're climbing the ladder with it. There's a swing, line drive, center field. That'll be a base hit at an RBI. So the rally here energized every new opportunity they take advantage of. Number 29, Joe Creedy. Well, what a great job of hitting right there. You see the full extension on the swing. It's not easy to drive a pitch like that up and away in the strike zone. He got to barrel the bat on it, and he got himself on base. Swings and misses at the screwball, 0-1. Well, hitters nowadays don't get to see too many of these screwballs. That clearly fooled him. He was way out in front. Strike two, no balls, two strikes. Greedy will lean in on that zone now. Hard grounded a short, and he's got it. There's one, and two, they pull off the double play. And a great throw right there, second base, strong arm. Arm strength critical, turning the double play. It would be a matter of a split second to get the out. Great double play. Tomei gets in, here's the first delivery. Screwball swung on and missed 0 and 1. He deals. Hit hard to second. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. So they pick up four hits in the inning and two runs across. The White Sox, four run lead. Here's the skipper, Bob Guerin. The thoughts of the manager, one can only speculate, but at this point, you've got to believe he's, he's got some words for that next practice. Here's Chris, first look. Drops down a butt. Danks. And his throw is in time, first out of the inning. Well, not a bad thought trying to get something started getting on base to start some sort of a rally, put some pressure on the defense, but didn't work out that way. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. Now it's two down. For the Oakland Athletic. And Eric Chavez to that. And an RBI single his last time to the plate. Dave Bush going to the mound. The White Sox turning to a reliever here. Well, it's not surprising they're going to the bullpen now. It's, I just thought maybe they waited a little bit too long. Should have gone and gotten them a little bit earlier. Wings and misses at the fastball, 0 and 1. Well, it's getting late right now. Two outs here in the seventh inning, and you know they're down by a bunch of runs. They need to start to get something going right here, Gary. And that's a strike. Chavez was going to have to be very protective here. Now that he's established the strike zone down and in, he can elevate a pitch or go with something soft away from the hitter. There's a swing, fly ball down the line and left. And the side's retired. Damon catches it as he heads in. And a good. And welcome to those of you just tuning in, 2K Sports, Major League Baseball. This is Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Crook. Here's the pitch. Good pitch as he's late on that one, 0-1. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Veteran Damon, though, he'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. Screwball, swung out and missed. Strike three, first up. They made it look easy right there. Slicing and dicing, just attacking the strike zone. Three pitches, ball for strikes, sit down. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. And an RBI double his last time. And the first pitch. Good pitch that time, and it's 0 1. Strike 
And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Oh, he has some great arm motion right there. Had him way out in front of that one. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. It rolls all the way to the wall. And he's in at second with a double, one out. Well, anytime you're a hitter and you can get three hits in a game, you're going to see that average start creeping up to where you want it to be. And he's on now with one out. And here's Paul Konerko, homered back in the first inning. There's a swing and a line drive. And in there, he gets that one down. That's his third hit, three for five. And he scores. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. Right fielder, number 20, Carlos. Well, a guy that just continues to swing the bat well in this ball game. Three hits right now so far. It comes with one out in the inning. Can it start a rally? And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. Well, they've definitely got a rhythm going right now. Each player feeding off the other. Now, Garrett, as you can see, this offense just keeps on rolling, keeps on producing. Why don't you keep on rolling, Gary? And in this game, there's no such thing as piling on. You want to carry over. If you're hot now, keep it going. Well, you're right, Gary. Piling on, forget that. They don't care. They want to keep tacking on runs right now. Gain that momentum to win today and carry it in to the next game. Strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes. Quinton needs to protect that strike zone. Got a chance to take a look at this slider right here, Gary. A breaking ball right there gets him to swing. You can see that back leg kind of jelly bit in a little bit. He really used the off-speed pitches during that at bat to get it over with. Here's the delivery. Swing sits this one pretty well, deep right center, and Sweeney puts that away to retire the side. So they score once on two hits, one man left. White Sox, they've got a commanding five run. Ozzy Guillen taking a look at you right there. He has to be pleased with his team's performance so far today. And Ellis settles in first pitch. Swing and a bouncer up the middle. Fielded by Ramirez. Retiring Ellis. Kennedy at the plate. It's a perfect three for three in the ballgame. And Bush's pitch looked at for a strike 0 and 1. Look, Gary, with one out right here, they still have time in this inning to try to generate some runs. They now here's a grounder towards the hole. And Kennedy is retired. Pennington's in the batter's box. Ground out victim last time through. Base is empty and two down. First pitch, here it comes. Hit sharply towards the hole. And that's going to do it. Freedy's there. Three up, three down for Dave Bush. And it'll be the White Sox. Taking a look there, Bob Garrett. He's reflecting right now. Not uh, likely a lot of positive reflections, however, in this game. And Alex Cerrillos to lead off. For the matchup, 246 against the A's. And the first pitch. Now swing and a shot toward second. And that's one away. The lineup's crossing home the most. We look at our state farm leaderboard. Run scored over the last 10. Number one, the White Sox. The Mariners in second. The Blue Jays third. Red Sox fourth. Number five, the Royals rounded up. One out, nobody on. First pitch. Line fair down the line in right. And that'll put Przinski on first. Well, that's going to bring Joe Creedy up. Well, anytime you're a hitter and you can get three hits in a game, you're going to see that average start creeping up to where you want it to be. And he's on now with one out. Outman will come in and pitch. They've decided it was time to make a change here. He hit into a double play as last time. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect on one. Boy, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone right there. There's a swing and a drive. Deep right field. Sweeney's there. 
It's back towards the wall, and he still puts it away. Now State Fire brings you the extra base hit leaders for this month. Number 27, Jim And Jim Tomey. A couple of RBIs thus far. Well, he's already driven in a couple runs in this one, Gary. you got to believe they're going to pitch him a little bit more carefully this time around. A runner on first with two outs. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Right Slider swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Lifetime. He's got a uh, 285 average off the A's. Pitch on the way. And that's a strike. Tomei's going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter. Swung late. Tomei will foul that one away. Here's the pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards third. And that gets in there. Tomei a base hit. Tremendous situation now for the White Sox. You want your hitters to go with the pitch. Don't try to force things. The ball's away. He drives it away. Use the whole part of that plate and the whole part of that bat. And he did. Kids, you want to learn how to hit? That's how you do it. Damon swings and misses for strike one. Line towards second. And Ellis picks it up. Throws to first side is retired. So no runs, two hits, and they strand two. The White Sox 10, Athletics 5. Quick glimpse of the manager, Ozzie Guillen. Great game his club has put together. Things have gone really well. Leading off, Derek Barton. Here's the first pitch. Oh and he watches the low pitch from Bush. Well, I think right now offensively you've got to start getting base runners. Get as many as you can. I mean you're down a ton so you don't need big hits. You don't need home runs. You need base runners. Fastball waved at missed. One and one. Boy he's got great movement on that two seamer. It's one of the best around. Oh. Just off the inside edge. Two and one. Here's the 2 1. Ground ball up the middle. And Ramirez fields the ball. That retires Barton. Uh, just having some difficulty right now trying to make up this ground. And, and obviously, they've got a hill still to climb. And running out of time right now, only two outs remaining. So they've got to get something going and keep it going. And Bush's pitch looked at for a strike 0 and 1. Better to go after the fastball when the guy has quality secondary pitches. Even though it's down to the zone, you've got to swing at that. And that one will head all the way to the backstop for a ball. And we'll get to see Bobby Jenks pitching. They've decided it's time to bring a new arm into this one. Steve, what's he got in his mind now as he takes a look at Oakland today? Well, you take a look at this big body guy and Bobby Jenks out on the mound right here, and you know it's about power because of his size, but it's his off-speed pitches, the secondary pitches, the slider, the changeup, the curveball that make him overall effective. Sweeney again fouling that one off. Foul. And he fouls another one off. Foul. One two from Jenks. Ground ball, Creedy. He plays it on the hop. And Sweeney is retired. Uh, down to their final out right here, Gary. So, I mean, they're looking pretty dire at this point. And, you know, but listen, funnier things have happened. They've got to get base runners, though. And that one is a fly ball. This could do it. And it drops in for a base hit. And that'll bring up Travis Buck. Well, you're going to have to keep a close eye on this guy at first base. Pay a lot of attention to him because you know he more than likely has the green light. He can go at any time. Jenks with a delivery. And a fly ball, and this could be it. And it's through. Base hit for Buck. Well, what a time now to capitalize if they can. Well, that's hit number 15 in them for that one. And boy, you get 15 hits in the game. The manager can just sit back and relax and watch his team work. Two men on and two men out.
Two down. Runners at first and second. And here's the first one. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. That's going to be a wrap. Final out of the ball game. A good all-around effort, Gary, by the White Sox today allows them to get the win. They've got to be feeling pretty good about themselves. And we get a moment to recognize the Pepsi Clutch performer bringing the lumber today, Mark Ellis. You know, a lot of times you get a multi-hit game, you think you had a great day, but it's when you get those two hits that absolutely matter. And this guy got him when his team needed him the most. Getting on base, setting the table, scoring runs. That's why he's our Pepsi Clutch performer. And you don't often get the bats going on the road quite like this. Pretty good offensive attack. Well, when you're on the road, to have this kind of offense, it takes the hometown crowd out of the game and really helps your 